Thank you for tuning in today. I will show you three command line alternatives to trimming the video. Now to do this you need two packages. One called GPAC and another the famous FFmpeg. I have this already installed as you see. Let's view our video. Small file. It'll be a countdown. I'll link this video in the notes below for your use. Now our first method, I'll choose to use the MP4 box utility from the GPAC package. I often use this, it seems to be the quickest, although it's an annoying instance to type capital MP4 capital B. So today we'll MP4 box split X at 8 seconds to 11 seconds. Quite quickly, you'll see this occur. Basically truncates the video, realigns the data so it's not corrupt. And there you have it. Let's watch the output. Hooray, quick and easy. Option number two with FFmpeg. We will use the input file again. We will split at start zero seconds, I'm sorry, seven seconds which is zero hours, zero minutes, seven seconds to the end time. Of zero hours, zero seconds, 11 seconds, sorry, zero hours, zero minutes, 11 seconds. We'll do this asynchronously, level one, to our output file. We will override our existing output file. As you see here, it re-encodes the video. So let's watch our output. Good job. Option number three. Using FFmpeg, use our same input, using a different trim method, dash VF trim equals 7 seconds to 11 seconds. Oh, let's try 6 to 12. Let's override our output. Reencoding. Let's watch the output. As we see here, this method did not quite work so well. The video chunk, the blocking, I should say was not synchronized very well but there you go three methods from the command line to trim video